The Kiwi Freiburg Tip Top looks likely to be sold off by its owner, Fonterra, but the dairy giant is keen for it to stay in New Zealand hands. Fonterra's confirmed it's looking at the future of its only ice cream brand as part of an asset review that aims to cut its debt by $800 million. And the company also downgraded its forecast payout to farmers for the third time. Kim Savage has more. Here is a country that can't be beat. It's on the faces of the people you A famous campaign from a famous New Zealand brand. Tip Top's trumpet ad from the early 90s featuring a 16-year-old Rachel Hunter would become a Kiwi classic. But Tip Top hasn't always been locally owned. In 1997, it was bought by a West Australian food processor before Fonterra took back the reins in 2001. Today, the Dairy Cooperative's Chief Financial Officer, Mark Rivers, confirmed it might be time to say goodbye. It's the only ice cream business we have in the world. Uh, it's one that's, uh, that, that's done well, uh, but it's just, it's just the time is right now for us to look at, at that as a business uh, and just to consider all the options. The dairy giant says Tip Top now requires more investment than it's willing to make, but it does want to see the ice cream brand remain a New Zealand-based business, so that will be factored into its decision-making. The assessment of Tip Top's value to Fonterra comes as part of the cooperative's detailed review of its assets. It's said it wants to reduce its debt by $800 million by the end of the financial year. Regional Economic Development Minister, New Zealand First MP Shane Jones, suggests that as Fonterra looks to dump assets, it should also take the knife to its own executive team. Tip Top's a, a key feature of New Zealand's identity, the fact that it's been hocked off to enable um, Fonterra to recover from its uh, China debacle. It's obviously a rocky road ahead for us, but I'm gutted by that. Proceed with caution is the message from Southland dairy farmer and Fonterra supplier John Kennedy. He says the company needs to think very carefully about selling off such an iconic brand. I don't want them to throw the baby out with the bathwater making, making wholesale changes just because there's a bit of negative publicity out there. I, I think it's really important for Fonterra to be very considered in, in the changes that they're making. Fonterra's review of Tip Top comes as no surprise to market commentators. ANZ's agricultural economist Susan Kilsby says Tip Top has been a fairly profitable business for Fonterra over the years. But it, you know, it is good to see you know Fonterra being realistic about um, making some changes and being um, quite proactive in um, in making these changes now and, and getting on with it. News of Tip Top's potential sale wasn't the only update Fonterra delivered today. It also lowered its forecast milk payout for farmers to between $6 and $6.30, down from a range of $6.25 and $6.50, saying global milk supply was continuing to outstrip demand. As for what parts of the business will end up on the block, the dairy giant says the final word from its strategic review is still months away. For Checkpoint, this is Kim Savage.